All right, uh, there is one more notion similar to path connectedness. It is called just connectedness, all right? So a topological space is called disconnected if it can be represented as a disjoint union of two open sets or what is equivalent if there, there exists a non-empty and not the complete space uh, set that is both open and closed at the same time, right? So in that case, topological space is called disconnected, right? So if there is a set that is open and closed at the same time, that is not X or empty. So if it is not true, if X cannot be expressed in such a manner, then X is called connected. Now, uh, we are not going to uh, work with the, the, this notion in our course, but sometimes it is very useful and it is kind of used widely in mathematics. It's just that I, I decided not to, not to focus much on it, right? Um, it is a good exercise to prove that any path connected space is also connected, right? So path connected implies connected, just connected. The converse is not true. So there exists a path connected space. So there exists a connected space that is not path connected. Right? So here is the famous example. It, it has a name, I, I forgot the, the name, right? So basically what we do is uh, we take, um, well, um, we take the graph of the function sine of one over X, right? So this graph is not defined uh, when x is zero, right? So, which is why we want to assume that x is not zero. And we combine them with the, take the union of this with the uh, interval on the y-axis from negative one to one, right? So, here, let me just draw, show you the picture, right? Well, uh, okay, so in this picture, I guess I just took the positive point. Okay, this is what it looks like. Right, so this is my, my interval from negative 1 to 1. So this is the interval. So this is the function, the graph of the function y equals sine of 1 over x. And then we take the unit. Now, I'm not going to get to, to prove carefully that this uh, space is path connected, is not path connected, but connected. But the intuition here is basically um, this is connected because you know if we wanted to represent it if we wanted to represent it as a union of two proper open sets right so then basically this black vertical interval uh, would have to to be in one of them right but then um, it's then an entire small open neighborhood would have to be in that open set but if you take um, a small open neighborhood of this vertical black interval, then it would intersect with the sine of one over x part of, of the, the set, right? So it means that uh, it would have to overlap, and then you know we couldn't really uh, do it because that part is path connected. On the other hand, this, this is not path connected because if you take a point some, somewhere here on the right and somewhere here on the left. If you try to connect them, then by continuous path, then the discontinuous path would have to kind of go up and down infinite many times, which is impossible. So that's the idea. But again, it, it is not a rigorous proof, it's just an intuition defined. So basically, that's all I wanted to say about connectedness.